What is up guys, Tech James here. Do you guys remember that video that I did a few months ago about wireless charging on the PS Vita? Well, somebody over on Reddit that goes by the name of Ryan Rudolph actually managed to get it working on their PSP and this is really cool. I believe the PSP they're using is the PSP 1000 and I just wanted to show you guys basically how they did it and I thought maybe I could try it on my PSP 1000 as well. I won't be able to exactly do what he did because I don't have um, the type of battery he used and stuff like that, but it's still interesting to see how it works so i'm not going to play his full video i'll leave a link to it in the description if you guys want to watch it but let me just show you guys a little clip and um, basically he's got his psp 1000 here and here is his wireless charging pad and as you can see as soon as he puts his psp 1000 on the pad it begins charging and we get the kind of like notification it's charging um, by the little led light here and yeah that is actually really cool and he's kind of set up his whole guide um, which shows you guys how to do it and i'm going to show you guys the guide that he made right now when I say guide, it's kind of just like a list of pictures, but it's very like cool to see how he actually did it. So as you can see, he's got kind of like an LG phone battery here. I believe that's what it is. And then he's also got some duct tape here. Um, you can see he's also had to remove his UMD drive. And um, that's because if you want to do this mod, the battery is so big, there's basically no space for the UMD drive. Now, I have to admit, I do like having my UMD drive in my PSP, but if I manage to get my scrap PSP working, or, you know, I get a few more or like I get some housing for it and um, I might actually be able to test this mod out but if we just scroll down he actually had to end up opening um, the um, wireless QI receiver pad as well so that that alone is quite hard to do I don't know if I'd risk opening mine it could break very easily you've got to be quite careful when doing this type of thing and then what he did next is he actually had to solder the two wires for the battery onto the positive and negative of the QI receiver as you guys can see it's got the little positive and negative logos there and um, then he's also got the battery. There's the, I believe it's a phone battery. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but as you can see, he's basically stuck this to the back of the battery. And then he's got it wired up um, to the PSP. And he's going to wire it into the charging port down here, it looks like. So it will charge as well. And that's, that's what it looks like at the back. As you can see, it's behind the UMD drive. And I think the glass door is on. Yeah, it looks like it's clipped on as well. And um, as you can see, it charges off the mains. And it also charges on the wireless QI pad. So yeah, really cool. I'll leave a link to his stuff in the description if you guys want to check it out. And you can basically follow this guide. Hopefully in the future, I'm going to try this, like for real. I'll get one of these phone batteries and I'll see if I can get it working on my PSP. I just need to find out what this battery is. If you guys know what type of battery works with the PSPs, uh, let me know in the comments of the video. Um, but yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to try this because I wasn't too sure how he got this working. I didn't think the QI pad was powerful enough to go through the plastic um so i'm gonna try it on my psp and i'm gonna see if it works okay so now we're gonna kind of test it on my psp 1000 i'm not gonna attempt to take this apart because i'm just gonna destroy it however i did purchase a faulty lot um over the past month so maybe i can test it on one of those psps and um, when i've got a bit of extra time um, but i've basically got everything so i should be able to set it up so the first thing i've got is just the wireless pad and um, this is basically what we're going to use for the wireless charging i've also just got a plug socket to plug into the wall and obviously this has got a usb on it that is so we can power the wireless um, charging pad of course I've got the wireless battery itself this is a USB type C one just like they had on the reddit guide um, but the guy actually took his apart what he did he was able to kind of like peel it apart of his nails I guess and um, I did actually try and do it and I did manage to open it a bit I didn't want to destroy it I wanted to test this out before I actually try and open it and end up breaking something um, I've also just got a USB adapter I've got a USB type C to USB adapter and that's for the um, the wireless charging pad of course I'll link everything in the description anyway um, I've got a USB um, just like a micro USB cable I guess that's for the wireless charging pad and then of course I've got a cable to charge the PSP so yeah quite a lot of things it's gonna look um, kind of interesting when I got it set up I did do a video like this for the PS Vita maybe not too long ago maybe the start of this year um, but let's go and test it on the PSP 1000 and let's see what happens the main thing I want to test is will it charge behind this because I can't believe he got that working I would have never thought it would have been powerful enough to actually charge behind um, this plastic UMD drive um, tray 
Okay guys, so here's like a better kind of like diagram of how it's gonna work. PSP 1000, got a PSP 1000 charging line. Uh, we've got a female to female adapter here. And then of course we've got the male to micro um, US USB type C adapter. Then of course we've got a type C charging pad. Um, we've got the wireless um, receiver down there. And um, yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Let's just set this up and we can see if it actually works. Okay, so obviously it is supposed to be wireless and how I've got it set up is a bit messy, um, but basically um, how the diagram was in the last kind of clip I showed you, it's exactly the same. I've got the pad here and it's just resting under the PSP. So first of all, we're going to see, does it charge with the pad just resting like that? What I'm going to do is turn on the wireless charger and we can see if it actually will charge my PSP battery. The battery is quite low, so it'd be interesting to see if it actually works. Okay, so yes, it is actually charging the PSP. That's actually really cool. Now, the next thing I need to try is if I put this wireless pad um, in the UMD slot, I don't think it's going to work, to be honest. Um, even if I lift it up just a tiny bit, it does actually stop charging. So I think with that layer of plastic in the way, it might not work. But we're going to try it and see what happens. Okay, so I think how I'm going to do this, I'm just going to try and slot it in there. Maybe. Okay, I think that... That might work. I think that could be okay. Let's just try it like that and then see what happens. Okay, so it's completely slotted in. Hopefully you guys can see the power LED just there. Let's go and power it on and let's see what happens. Okay, so the wireless pad is on, but there's no... Um, there's no LED. I think the plastic is too much for it. That's kind of annoying actually, and I thought that might be a problem. I wonder how the guy on Reddit got it working. Maybe because he took it apart, um, it was, you know, it didn't have, it had less in the way, so it was able to work. Or maybe his was better quality than mine. I don't know. That's pretty much it for this video. That is wireless charging on the PSP 1000. That is how you do it. A big shout out to the guy that wrote the guide. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.